All right, George Jetson had Rosie, Star Wars had R2-D2, and the Transformers had Optimus Prime. Now MedStar Franklin Square Medical Center has robots that help them in the battle against germs. ABC2 News' Lamont Williams introduces us to the Xenex system. Hospitals in the United States see millions of patients each year, and with them comes the chance of being exposed to harmful viruses, bacteria, and spores. Cleaning staff do what they can, but cannot guarantee all germs are killed in routine cleanings. MedStar Franklin Square Medical Center now has germ zapping robots in its arsenal to help improve sterilization. There are four devices in the house. We clean every patient's room with that device. We use the, at the end of the day, we, we actually internally clean in the OR. We use it in our ER, and we use it throughout the house in bathrooms, et cetera, where there's high traffic areas. The robots emit the same ultraviolet C light the sun does. This light is deflected by the ozone layer and isn't found in nature. So when the bacteria and viruses are exposed to the light, they can't develop a defense against it. The DNA is damaged, and the germ dies. Uh, they basically clean the ring. They wheel in this device. Um, they program the device um, for 15 minutes. They put the device in the bathroom. It, it runs for five minutes in the bathroom. It runs for five minutes at the one head of the bed and five minutes at the other head of the bed. Every robot has a name. We met Phoenix and Winford, and they cost $134,000 each. The cost of treating a C. diff infection is about $35,000 and an MRSA infection about $24,000. So if the hospital is able to prevent three to four infections, they'll have paid themselves back for the device. The robots kill germs on all exposed surfaces and equipment because no matter how much they sterilize, it's not what they can see, but what they can't that causes harm. Franklin Square is really leading in all of our hospitals among um, the top tier of how much they're using the device. The intent here is to make sure that the services are sterilized and that there's nothing that we um, take from room to room or visitors bring in that goes from patient to patient. In Baltimore County, I'm Lamont Williams, ABC2 News. Hey, the robots have a life expectancy of about five years. They're still in use in 200 hospitals in the country, but MedStar Franklin Square Medical Center is the only one in the Baltimore area to roll them out.